Daniels and Jones come out. Marshall and McCollum, who's been very good tonight, they come in. Back to Chico, two-man game. Here we go. We talked about Milk in that matchup, and he can get going here in the paint. Now Chunas off the floor. This is the time, and, you know... He was really effective against Nance in that last game when Valentinus went out. That's when we talk about that plus-minus when he was on the floor versus not. Renan Richardson stepping back, firing, hitting the three. It's a 10-point game. The Rockets were down 20, seven straight for Houston. Man, Jalen Green has just been balling. It's been a quiet game, but he's been the Rockets' most steady player. 27 for Green. Two threes now, 8 of 15 shooting overall. Ingram ends the run. Ingram, man. By the way, Jalen Green, third quarter game. Third quarter, Jalen Green. Activated with 14 points in the period. Yeah, but look at Al P here. Like I said, when Novak Alshunas takes advantage, you got to overly help. And Jalen Green says, man, this, this, that's not Herb Jones. Go ahead and take that, Josh Richardson. You know you're a good defender, but better offense there from Jalen Green. And you, you, well, the one thing you got to do, you got to respect the drive. And then the three ball opens up for Jalen. Great job, Jalen Green. Richardson with a second. New Orleans five team fouls. Free throws for Green. Throwback look though. You know, it's funny. We all see all the, the high school looks from Jalen Green. He cut his hair. No grades anymore. Kind of like the grades of Jalen, didn't you, Greg? I didn't think it was a bad look at all. I, I, in fact, I'll be, I, I, I like the new cut. It's clean, man. What's well, clean, clean. the fact it's he's now 11 throwback. of 11 at the foul line. You're That's right about very, that. And the Rockets are 19 of 19. Yeah, that other game was so uncharacteristic of him missing free throws, man. That's oh, wow. Does not go down, and then the Rockets boot the rebound back to the Pelicans. Right now, the Pelicans have just been tighter, and you get little plays like that, everything just going in your favor. They get something to go in their favor, and then they don't. Toilet bowl missed there, and... Oh, and just fumbled there by Shingun. McCollum. No, but a foul. Wow. And Shingun, that's his fifth. He wants this to be challenged. Yeah, this would definitely be worth the challenge here. McCollum created all this contact. That's a no call. That can't that can't be a foul. That's gotta be a no call. That, that, that's ridiculous right there. And, Jonas, he's taking a look at it. He probably thought about challenging, but he's going to save it and put Garupa here in the ball game. That, yeah. that, it, I don't know how you defend. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And McCollum makes the free throw. Garuba will pick up Shingun, who now has five personal fouls. Here, here's it. You can't guard a guy. You're standing there. He just barrels into you. Column two or three, 80 plus percent for his career. And that was a similar play that got challenged when Jalen Green the other day jumped into Wyndon Gabriel, and Gabriel was going to foul out if I'm not mistaken on the play, but it, it got changed because Jalen Green made all of the contact. Green gets by one. Finds Eason, catches, shoots, misses. Weeks on rebound battle, last touch by Marshall Rockets ball. We're going to be sticklers here with Jalen Green, as great as he's been playing. He's got to hit Tari in his hands on target, and he's likely going to have a better shot at hitting that three. It's a good look, though. In to Eason for the slam. And a little floppy action off the elbow. That is so good for the Rockets. And again, we got a 10-point game. We also got a timeout with 140 to go. Here in the third quarter, we'll break as well. Ryan, Vanessa, and yours truly back in just a moment. Let's check in with the nice winners of the Michelob Ultra Court 
Side Street Sweepstakes. The winners also receive a Rockets prize pack and a special visit from Clutch the Bear. Remember, fans, it's only worth it if you enjoy it. Congrats and enjoy the game. Mike Batiste, who puts in a lot of work during and after practice with the big guys. Coach Silas said Batiste is so good with Bobby and Alfie. said, I wish people could see him coach and do a walkthrough because he's so talented. Silas pointed out Batiste's time playing helps him relate to the guys. He played for Lionel Hollins in Memphis, then went overseas and was massively successful, won MVP and multiple championships. Coach Silas said one time in Dallas, Lucas said, that guy looks familiar. Silas said, that's Mike Batiste. And Lucas said, I remember him playing. Beaumont said the same thing. He remembers him from his playing days. Craig and Ryan, I don't even have time to list all the championships oh. he won from the Euro League to the Greek League to the Turkish Cup. Super impressive coach and just a great guy. Yeah, I mean, a really impressive basketball career overseas, including those three Euro, Euro League titles. He was a monster in Europe. As KPJ got fouled. No, Mike, Mike was, and he's he was one of those guys that would have really benefited from the two-way contract. And what, what's tough is when you were you're kind of on the fringe back in the day. You were in a situation where you had to say, "Hey, am I going to get one more shot at the NBA, or am I going to go make a lot of money overseas?" Coach Batiste was smart. Said, "I'm going to go make a lot of money overseas. I don't want to take that that gamble." But he's definitely an NBA talent, and it, and it showed. And uh, good to see him, man. He brings so much to the team behind the scenes. Great stuff, Vanessa. Yeah. Tom a little bit banked up there, trying to jog it off. He ended up being called for the foul. His first quarter at the line. Yeah, after Mike's playing. Here's another look at what happened here. And just a kind of inadvertent knee kick. And then also McCom just kind of came down and kind of shocked that leg a little bit when it landed. Yeah, just yeah. kind of wasn't able to kind of get his knee bent when he came down. And all that weight there shocking his leg there. But Mike Batiste, because he was a G League coach, assistant in Brooklyn, Charlotte, Orlando, last year in Washington. Now here with the Rockets. Cooper's worst nightmare, man. Don't touch my knee. His first basket, his first points of the evening. Listen, man, Rockets right here in, in, in striking range. They have a chance to cut this thing to 10 or under. Aruba saves it back to Green. And looks like he maybe was pushed. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let say uh, Nance, bonus oh, yeah, Nance is called for a foul. Good hustle there from Garuba. Rockets. Free throw, so they attempt to 10. This will be attempts number 11 and 12 in this quarter alone. And their first miss of the game by Usman Garuba, shooting just under 60% this year at the Lions, 21 to 22. Smith coming in and Jalen Green getting a rest. Free throw 